for the introduction is mushroom are fleshly fruiting bodies of fungus that grow from a clump of mycelium berries in the substratum. The majority of the mushroom belong to basidio mycotina subdivision of the kingdom fungi, but a few belong to the esco mycotina subdivision. There are only a few species that are little. Several other can cause especially severe and painful symptoms. Toxicity is likely to play a role in protecting the basidio crop function. Based on the survey done to find suitable data set, mushroom classification data set is chosen. There are description of hypothetical sample corresponding to 23 species of gill mushroom in the Agricus and Lapitia, Lapiota family mushroom drawn from the Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Mushroom, 1981 in dataset. For the problem statement is, mushroom are, import, are an important fungus that contain a rich supply of vitamin B and a lot of protein. It is the prevention of cancer that is in weight loss and boosts human immunity. Some mushroom, on the other hand, are toxic and can be harmful if consumed. The main villa having fruiting bodies are Esco mycota and Basidio, Basidio mycota, which are both considered mushroom. As a result, distinguishing between inedible and toxic mushroom is a crucial task. This research focuses on utilizing a machine learning approach to construct a system from classifying mushroom based on their textural further. Motivation Classification on mushroom features was chosen as the research topic in the studies. This data set is chosen as each of the species is categorized as definitely edible, definitely poisonous, unknown edibility, and not recommended. This is a suitable data set to perform the different classification algorithm. The classification algorithm chosen for this project is the K nearest neighbor K and N decision tree support vector machine SVM and NAV based. So the first step that we implemented is by choosing a suitable data were in this project we use mushroom classification data that was sourced from Kaggle. We use Jupyter Notebook for the code. We import necessary libraries which we run the classification tasks which include package from sklearn, numpy, and pandas. Furthermore, for the classification we import the decision tree classifier Gaussian NB, SVC, and k neighbor classifier from sklearn library. For each classification, we find the accuracy for each algorithm and print out the output. Lastly, we compare the classification models to find the mean accuracy for each classifier. For the difficulty we face when using the date fruit dataset which is the first choice of data we decide to use. Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Ani Zulaika binti Marusman. My matrix number is 74142. I will present discussion. In this report, we compare four classification algorithms which are decision tree, naive bias, support vector machine and k nearest neighbor we use 10 fold cross validation to evaluate each algorithm and we found the mean accuracy and also the standard deviation accuracy according to figure 2 the mean accuracy for both decision tree and knife bias are the same which is 100 percent svm is 93.99 percent and lastly, for KNN is 91.99%. Meanwhile, the standard deviation for both decision tree and knife bias are the same, which is 0.00%. 0 
SVM is 0.16% and lastly KNN is 0.22%. From the result, we can see that this significant data set, decision tree and knife bias have performed better than the rest and we also narrowed down these two classifiers to work on this project. In conclusion, knowledge discovery in databases, KDD, is defined as the complicated extraction of previously unknown but potentially valuable information from the data stored in databases. When it comes to that loaded dataset, the goal is to get them with the least amount of work possible. The entire method takes place in this project, starting from choosing the suitable data, data preprocessing to classifying the dataset using various classification, have taught us to implement classifiers into real-world data. First, we imported the necessary libraries from NumPy, Pandas, and Escalon. We imported model selection, knife bias, matrix, and classification report, confusion matrix, and accuracy score from Escalon to create the classification task. Next, we load the data into Jupyter Notebook using pd.read underscore csv and use the path file we put the file in. And next, we use pd.get underscore dummies to preprocess the data. And then, we assign the value x and y for features data and target data. After that, we print out uh, using head function to print out the first five columns and also print out dataset.isnow.sum function to control the missing value where it will skip the rows that doesn't have any value. After that, we apply feature scaling using sklearn.preprocessing and importing the standard scalar. The standard scalar function is used along with standard scalar dot fit underscore transform where we apply to x variable to standardize the data set and then we use sk learn dot model underscore selection to use train underscore test underscore split where it will split the data into random train and test subset for the classification tasks. Next, to do the classification task for decision tree and knife base, we imported a decision tree classifier and Gaussian NB from SKLearn to create the classification model. Decision tree classifier function dot fit is used and next we also print out the score to find the accuracy of decision tree classifier on both training set and test set. The same steps is also done in main base where we imported caution nb and using gnb dot fit to find the accuracy of GNB classifier on both training set and also test set. And for the output, uh, both classifiers got 1.0 on training set and test set, which means both classifier had an accuracy of 100%. The first image is the classification using KNN algorithm. We added the objects for KNABLE classifier. And then the KNN fit function is used to train the data sets. The same is done for the classification using SVN, which is the support vector machine. Where we train the data set using the fit function to get the results. For both results, are the same where we obtain a hundred percent accuracy. Here 
we compare the four classification algorithms that were implemented in this project. We use 10 full cross validation to evaluate each algorithm and find the mean accuracy and standard deviation accuracy. First, we created a list and added objects of the different classifier for evaluation, which are decision tree classifier, care neighbors classifier, support vector machine classifier, and naive base classifier. Then, we look through the list and use the crossbar score method to get the accuracies. From the result, we can see that naive base and decision tree classifiers have performed better than the rest. That is all for me. Thank you.